Alright guys, what's up? Uh, this is still a no commentary episode and still doing that with all my series and this series. I just want to jump in here real quick and say that around the 35 minute mark, 40-ish, around there, there's going to be a split. Only because I was making this before I had to go to work. Thought I wouldn't have enough time because I said I would like to make these videos around a 50, 40 minute mark. And it stopped at 35, I was in the middle of a mission. So I, you know, wanted to finish the mission in one video. So, you know, I just came home from work and just started up another episode. A small little 15 minute episode so I can combine them. So you guys can get this. So that split might throw you off. Because it, you know, started in day or started at night and then it went to day. So don't get thrown off by that. I just wanted to, you know, throw that in and clarify that up. Um, I think also, since I pre-record these and pre-make uh, these episodes, I think around episode 9 also, or just like later on in the episode, there's another one too I had to split, you know, due to, I have to go to work, or uh, I think I have two of them, I'm not sure, but, or like, I get tired or just want to stop, and just, eventually, I'm recording right now through PlayStation, and it is shit, I, I gotta say, it is very shit, just, there's also a couple episodes in the future where, it, it, like, you didn't record. So then, like, then in the next mission, or, like, the next episode, I'm on, like, it, everything's new to you. Like, I have new guns, new, uh, outfits, and you're just like, what the hell? And it's just, eventually, I will be getting an Elgato, so you guys can, you know, I can record hours of gameplay, like, you know, cut that up and split it up. So I don't have to worry about PlayStation fucking up. It is ass. It seriously is, and I do not like recording through them. But just to wrap it up, I just wanted to, you know, throw that in. That it's the split is gonna throw you off. So uh, one more thing before I end this, so you guys can, you know, enjoy this episode, is that don't get upset. That's why I've been calling these this series exploring Red Dead Redemption 2 because I'm gonna say about 65% of my episodes. It's just me messing around and exploring the world, doing the activities that you see on screen right now. There's like campground. It's just taking in the beauty of this game. This game is, it's amazing. Rockstar did an amazing job with this one. First one was also amazing. And I had no doubt in how bad this was going to be. I knew it was going to be good. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the game of the year. Like I said in the episode one, the hype will still continue because this game is fantastic. So don't get upset that I'm not, you know, following the storyline because I just want to take in the beauty of, you know, hunting, uh, fishing, little activities where like someone's getting attacked on the side of the road and you, you know, get off your horse and help them. Uh, just one recently, kind of a spoiler alert, but recently a tree fell. They were, I was walk, like, you know, riding through a a forest and uh, they someone chopped down the tree and the tree fell and it landed on someone's leg I had to help him lift the tree up and just giving people money like the homeless and stuff and just the little things like that it makes this game amazing I'm gonna shut up now cuz I'm pretty sure you wanna watch this peacefully without my voice hope you guys enjoy um, like I said in the beginning if you guys here with me today hit that like button here with me throughout this whole series hit that like button and subscribe so you guys could see when I post Another Red Dead Redemption 2 episode, but without further ado, here is episode 6 of Red Dead Redemption 2. Peace out.
Okay, boy. Ah! 
Look at what we snagged. Dutchie's dog's body. I told you he'd show. All right, boys, let's do it. Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. there.
All that blood looks like something boiled over, all right. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Getting real low on meat here. Sure, might as well make some money off it. Many thanks. Good job, Mr. Morgan. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. Ah! All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Oh, come on, we'll have a good second. Okay. Now, I was saying some. Oh, yeah. Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy, threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. <laughs> yeah, that's it, boy. Stables are just up ahead. Welcome back. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. 
I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's gonna affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Are you going to mount that new horse of yours or not? You won't know till you get in the saddle. Whoa, easy, easy. Hop on up there, let's go. Easy. Settle down, boy. Hello. Boy. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's a code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Maybe. But please don't you put that to the test. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Of this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right.
Okay, boy. Let's go. Yep. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get a set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Morning, Arthur. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait, then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I'll tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains. Hi there. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Come on, Brad. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. All right, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. 
If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. There's something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. That's We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. Thousand pounds, you say? More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right.
Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, you coming or not? I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> uh. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! Yeah. 